Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Thought I'd do another check-in of how the painting is going. Um, I got the, let me turn around up here. This kitty keeps wanting to play fetch with this little ball while I'm painting in the kitchen. <laughs> I keep throwing it to him to get him away from my wet paint. Have you guys ever known a kitty to play fetch before? Yes, he plays fetch. So, got the dining room all finished, the living room over there finished, I got the hallway by the bathroom finished, and now today I've got my kitchen all tore apart. See, he brought it back to me. <laughs> so I've got my kitchen all tore apart. Um, I had to move my um, cupboard there that goes next to my fridge. It's not connected to the wall. So I emptied that all out. Had to move the fridge away from the wall. I've been painting. I just got done with my last coat behind the fridge and then up here. So kitchen, well, it'll be all done once I get all the stuff put back. So then I'm going to start on the walls. Um where the kitty towers are, I'm gonna start painting those walls uh, next. So we're getting there. I took the weekend off, um, Saturday, Sunday, and then I took, I think, Thursday off last week because my back was killing me and my neck was killing me. Uh, so then I started back up Monday this week and I finally got the kitchen done. Like I said, I'm doing all this by myself. <laughs> Emptying things, moving things, cleaning things, and painting. I'm doing this all by myself. This is my project. Um, since I don't work outside the home, my home is my work. And my dogs and taking care of the family, making sure they're fed and everything they, got, they need. So that is my job. Because a lot of people ask how I keep my house so clean. Well, it's my job. It's my job every day to make sure things are clean, laundry's done, and other little house projects get done. So I also had questions about our ceiling I wanted to answer today. People were wondering if this was crown molding on the ceiling and it's not. Um, our ceiling and walls in most room are plaster, uh, made of plaster. So I'm thinking when they uh, did the ceiling, somehow they molded that, that's actually part of the ceiling. So they must have molded it or something. I'm not sure exactly how that was done. Um, it, the house was built in 1964. So maybe if someone knows about plaster ceilings and wall, they can uh, comment below, but it looks like they molded it that way. So that is not crumb molding. That's actually part of the ceiling. So um, I really like it too. A lot of people were saying they really liked it. I really like it too. So, um, all right, my, Lunch in the microwave, some Stouffer's mac and cheese. Kitty! <laughs> so bad. So bad getting on my counters. And he brought the ball back. He said, well, throw my ball. I want to play fetch like the, like the doggies do. Okay, let's go. Oh, I hit the wall. I hit the wall. <laughs> Sorry, kitty. Okay, let's do a better throw this time. There you go. He is a silly kitty. He thinks he's a dog. Yes, he does. All right, I'm going to eat some lunch. We will be back. Well, guys, it's Thursday evening. It's about... I think it's about 8.15 in the evening. Oh, Mickey didn't see it. <laughs> it's about 8.15, and I'm just now checking back in from... When was that last clip? Wednesday? Yeah, yesterday. So, um, I uh, got the kitchen done. I uh, got the first coat on the area where all the kitty towers are out by our main front door that we don't use. Um, got the first coat on that and I just started not feeling well. Um, not feeling well at all, so... I called it quits after that 
cleaned up my mess, and then just took it easy today. I mean, I still have to stuff. Um, have a couple errands to do, and I've been doing laundry, um, but that's about it. I've been taking it pretty easy today. Yes, I have. It's been a rainy, gloomy day, too. Rainy, gloomy day. Grant wants to go in, of course. <laughs> he wants to go in. Yes, he does. So... I think uh, tomorrow. Milo, why are you eating grass back there? <laughs> um, get back to painting tomorrow. Yeah, yay me. <laughs> yay me. And I had a lot of questions about how I've been keeping the dogs away from the paint. Um, the only person that's been kind of a problem is Grant. The other boys, once they start painting, they just kind of go to the little spots that they like to sit or look out the window or, you know, they go and they settle down. But Grant, uh, certain times of the day, will get up and just start kind of pacing around the house. Uh, like before it's time to eat lunch or he knows when he usually gets a snack or this or that. Kind of how he's pacing back and forth to the door because he wants to go in. He'll just keep pacing. He's a pacer. <laughs> so I had to be very careful of him uh, getting into the paint tray if I had it sitting on the floor when I was rolling walls. Um, so he wouldn't accidentally step in it because he's kind of off balance being older. He's 14 years old. Um, he can be off balance sometimes or he doesn't see where he's going sometimes very well. So I'm always, I was always scared he was going to step in the paint. Um, or run into the wall, but he hasn't. Um, if it got too bad, I would just, when he'd go in his house, I'd just shut it and lock it um, until I was done doing whatever I was doing, maybe 10, 15 minutes um, until I could move stuff so I to where I would know he wouldn't uh, step in it or knock into it or whatever. But all the other boys, even the kitties, uh, stayed away, didn't get in anything. Nobody has gotten pain on them. Which I'm very surprised, especially kitties. Because <laughs> you know how kitties like to rub on things. <laughs> yes, they do. But even kitties haven't caused me any issue. So, all right, guys. I will. Um, what are you guys standing behind me for? Why are you standing behind me? Huh? <laughs> I will check back in tomorrow when we get back to painting. I've decided I'm going to keep the Schnauzer room and the laundry, laundry room a later color. So that was one of my errands today. I had to go get some more paint supplies. And um, I was looking at paint swatches. So, um, so I came home, talked to my husband about it, showed him the paint color I was thinking of and he approved of it. So um, after I get done with this one paint color, I'll have to go buy the other one so I can do the laundry room and the Chanel's room. I also wanna do my bedroom too. Um, but I'm not sure what color I want to do the bedroom yet. Not sure. So I may have to pick out another color for that too. And then I want to get new bedding and, and all that good stuff. Um, my room is basically, um, my husband and I's room and the dog's room. So there's not much furniture in there. There's just one dresser, our bed and two little tables inside the bed and then full of crates. <laughs> so there's really not much, um, decorating to do to the room except paint the walls and get some new bedding. <laughs> so, um, anyways. So, all right, guys. I will check back in tomorrow. Well, it's Friday, guys. It's about 1.30, and I've done no painting yet. I'm just leaving Menards, which is like a Home Depot or a Lowe's. But I like it so much better because it's more woman-friendly. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to describe it except for that. It's, it's just woman friendly, uh, more so than Home Depot. Uh, so I like Menards. They actually have groceries, a pet section, um, all kinds of stuff in there. Cleaning supplies. Um, I just really like Menards better. So I drive further, uh, to come to Menards, but I finally, let me zoom out in case the volume is acting weird. I still have not figured out how, when I zoom in and out, how to fix the volume. I've checked my settings. I have no clue what I'm doing. 
<laughs> but uh, excuse all the sunglasses here. These are all ones I'm going to take in the house. But I looked at a bunch of um, swatches. This here, right here, this um, flagstone, that's the color I did the living room, dining room, and kitchen. I didn't like it in the hallway. Um, I don't like it in the hallway, and that's why I waited to um, do the second coat on the one section I was working on because it just made it too dark in the hallway. So I decided to go with this one up here called Thin Ice. Um, so I got two gallons of that. And if I hate that, I'll just use it upstairs when I paint the upstairs because eventually I'm going to do the upstairs too. But I have all these paint swatches. Um, I... <laughs> I know I'm weird. My husband said, you're too weird. You're overthinking stuff. But I just did not like how dark it was in the hallway. And someone even mentioned in the comments to do the hallway a lighter color um, so it's not so dark. I should have listened. I should have listened. So, so now I'm going to I'm gonna do one wall, one wall in the hallway, and see if I like it before I redo the whole thing. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's what's going on. And as you can see, it's another gloomy, rainy day. So... And it's past one o'clock when I usually feed the dogs. So they're probably freaking out, thinking they're gonna starve to death. So I gotta get home. All right, I got my car unloaded. Brought in my, I stopped at the grocery store. My son just called, he's coming to get some painter's tape. And the dogs are howling like mad animals. Well, now they're stopped because they hear me talking. They hear me talking, so they're wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> you wonder what I'm doing? took my shoe. So, um, it's been a while since I came home, fed the dogs, fed myself, and I decided to put the light color I bought in the area that I wasn't sure about, and I do not like the light color at all. <laughs> I mean, it's a nice color, but I do not like it in there. I like the dark color. And I had my husband come in, and he said, Kim, the reason why you're not liking the dark color right now, which is true, is... The floor is dark. I hate, I don't like this floor. I don't like it at all. But eventually this floor will be changed. Uh, it'll be a lighter color. And then it'll be fine with the darker wall color. And I don't like the door. It's like a reddish brown type stain. Eventually this door is going to get switched out. Um, it's just... Um, kind of deteriorating the wood and stuff so we eventually want to change the door out so eventually the inside part of the door will be white so the door will be lighter the floor will be lighter and then this color will be perfect because I really like the dark color so I'm just gonna have to live with it for now until we can change the floor and the door and then eventually this carpet this room will also um 
I may not paint this room. This room does not flow with the rest of the house with the gray tones, the cool tones. So I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do in here. So I don't think I'm even going to bother painting this room until we figure that out. Um, that may not be till next year. So yay me, I don't have to paint this room right now. But um, yes, I do not like the light color. I like the darker color. So problem solved. So I just got to fix what I did there, putting the lighter color on there to see what it looked like. And then this needs a second coat and I'll be done out there. Oh, so yes, and then I don't have to do this room till I figure out what we're going to do with this room later. But I do need to do the laundry room. And then I need to do this small bathroom here too. So we're getting there, but I am going to use that lighter color. Um, can you see that this is kind of a darker color here and then a lighter color up there? I'm going to use that lighter color when I do the upstairs, that's not going to be done for a while. Um, I'm going to use that later color up there. So it will not go to waste. I'm still going to use it. Okay. Um, so tell me what you guys think. Did you like the lighter color or the darker color on the wall? But don't be rude about it. Because I had somebody be really rude to me about the color in the kitchen in the living room here. Um, the dark color. They wrote a whole paragraph of rudeness. <laughs> And yes, I deleted it. Yes, I blocked them from being able to comment anymore. But a whole paragraph of rudeness. So I just don't get that. <laughs> but yeah, let me know. I just, I like the darker color because I love how it makes the white trim pop. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Hopefully I made the right decision. But you guys got to remember too, we're changing that floor soon and that door. Well, maybe not soon. Um, but pretty soon. <laughs> We're actually getting our roof done this year. And we also have Tuesday some uh, heating and cooling guys coming to take care of the heating and cooling problem we have upstairs. Um, it doesn't ever stay quite cool enough or warm enough. So we're getting all that fixed. So slowly but surely, it'll be fixed. Um, so, all right, guys. Oh, I wanted to share some mail I got. Hold on one second. I want to end the video today by seeing a couple thank yous. Um, I got a couple things in the mail, and I haven't shared them, and I apologize. Um, this Mother's Day card, I don't think I ever shared in a video. It's from Paul, and it's absolutely beautiful. I had it tucked away in my buffet over here in a drawer so I would share it and then I, I was cleaning the drawer out and found it so thank you so much Paul I did get it and it's beautiful thank you um I also received this thank you card from Diane saying she appreciates me posting on YouTube what's going on over there Milo's got a bone I think somebody was trying to get it from him <laughs> she said thank you so much for sharing on youtube she enjoys the videos and she saw this at a thrift store and thought of me and um sent it my way so thank you so much diane we really appreciate it and then i don't know the first name i have the address here and it just has the last name of davis from california and they sent me these cute schnauzer salt and pepper shakers thank you and they they're magnetic here i like kissing schnauzers. <laughs> Thank you so much. Love them. All right. So, um, I'm going to end the video here. I hope everybody has a great, relaxing, fun Memorial weekend. Um, enjoy your long weekend. I'm probably going to be painting and I promise you this today. No more talk about painting, um, in any more videos. I may share it when I'm all done, but no more talk about painting. I know it's got to be boring because when I listen back, to, when I watch the clips back, I think they must be bored out of their minds watching this video. <laughs> so no more talk about it. So it's almost, it's seven o'clock. So I'm going to clean up the rest of my mess, get the um, rest of the laundry finally done, and um, just enjoy the rest of the evening and take it easy. So, all right, guys, we'll talk to you guys again soon. There may only be, uh, just a side note, there may only be one video again next week until I finish this project up. So thank you guys for putting up with uh, not as many videos. Um, I appreciate you guys. 
sticking with us during, during this project I'm doing in the home. All right, guys. Talk to you guys again soon. Bye.